All right, let's see if we can do this handheld and get a decent video. This is their uh, American Chestnut tabletop, reclaimed out of a mill. I'm not sure what they were using it for, but it's going to become a nice coffee table. What we have here is our my favorite finish, tongue oil. Hand rubbed and real easy to work with. It's a drying oil, so it does make a hard finish, which can then just be handled like any other uh, furniture. So, and this has definitely got the, the iron staining from nails in this chestnut. And it says uh, verified chestnut, wood web, verified it as chestnut, American chestnut, now extinct for the most part, but a very highly sought after lumber. And I just happened to cross this in a mill. Didn't even know what it was till I started stripping it down. So let's go ahead and uh, put the finish on it and see what it, see what kind of grain pops. One thing I like about this, I don't really like high gloss finishes, and this is not. And although it has a gloss right now. It does dry down and uh, become a satin finish. Wipe on, wipe off. Finish. And you can see you know, the ceiling lights are reflecting off of it, but like I said, this will dry down. This wood is really dry. It's soaking this stuff up like crazy. I need more in here already. Another nice thing about this stuff. Uh, it deals with dust really well. Sorry, bad camera work here. Let me see if I can change that. Hang on a second. We'll get part of the finishing process here. The camera stand's gonna get in the way. So let's go ahead and get this thing, uh, get some more finish on this. This is a definitely a rustic top so supposed to put this on heavy wipe off the excess i'm putting it on heavy and this wood is sucking it up this stuff has been sitting for i'm sure decades in that barn part of the old mill down here on forgedale This stuff is just disappearing. All right. I'm gonna stop snapping that cap shut. Usually you rub this stuff around, it floats on top and uh, slowly soaks in a little at a time. Not on this wood. The rag's not soaking it up. The wood is. I think we're starting to get some. You don't have to put a ton of excess on here, but you kind of want to have something there to wipe away later. It doesn't really matter. It says to wipe in the grain direction, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Let's move you over here. Only the camera feet, so I think that'll be okay. <coughs> Do that. Man, I cleaned this top off before I started to finish it. This top is just loaded with character. I had another finish on here. Uh, walnut oil, I think it was, something like that. Was not happy. Did a whole lot of sanding to get it off. Managed to get it off. The edges of this had a leather or rawhide strip nailed to it. Was not a fan of that. 
So I took that off. Sorry, going around the edges again. This is definitely sucking up the finish here. So I like the way this looks. Definite, definite rustic log cabin. Maybe if you got your country western setting in your home there or your man cave. A little bit more in the bucket here. A little bit more. There we go. I think we're done with that. So it looks glossy in, in the photo or in the video. But like I said, it'll tone down. Soaks in. Becomes a satin finish. There we go. This wood is thirsty. That's for sure. Drying oil will help uh, help maintain the wood. Yeah, just the right patina. Wow, I'm wiping this. All right, a little bit more back over here again. Apologize for all the jumpy camera moves here, but. Uh, No, I don't like high gloss finishes. I don't know if I ever finished that explanation. I don't like them because what you see is the shine. You don't see the wood. The wood seems to be hidden by the shine. Uh, you look at it, you see that nice gloss. And that's it. You don't see the, uh, you don't see the grain anymore. You see the shine. I'm all about seeing the natural wood grain. Now we're looking good. Let me go around one more time. Okay. All right. And this stuff tolerates dust really well. If I get a, uh, if I get a dirt in this. Simple steel wool it or light sanding down to get it out, you're fine. So you don't see, if you see my shop in here, it's a mess. So there's no need for uh, no need to worry about that. I'm just gonna keep wiping this stuff on, letting the wood suck it up. And uh, we'll bring you back here a little bit later on as I progress coats, and you'll be able to check it out. But, get that rag out of the way. A little shot around here. Like I said, that gloss will disappear. I can build it too close to that gloss if I want to. But I don't think I want to. Calls for three coats. I put upwards of seven on some things. Uh, it's a really easy finish. Wipe on, wipe off. Let it dry. Like I said, it's a, uh, tongue oil is a drying oil. And, uh... Yeah, leaves a good, uh, good solid finish behind that uh, presents no issues. And any problems with the finish, you don't have to do a lot of sanding and repairing. You just wipe a little more tongue oil on the spot, wipe it off, you're good. So, I like it. I would not use this in, uh, you know, wet settings. It's not a marine grade, that's for sure. So, learn your finishes, and uh, this one is just fine for this coffee table. Use your coasters. <laughs> All right. And we'll talk at you later. That's what we're doing on the sawmill today. Iron Oak Sawmill. Thanks for stopping out. We'll see you later next time.